I think the one thing about the MOOC and the associated Facebook groups are the um, just the sheer amount of community and um, friendly feeling that you get from um, everybody else who is travelling along the same journey as you are with all its highs and lows. So I have really got heaps out of doing this MOOC because I've now connected with a whole community of other PhD students that previously didn't have. And I've really enjoyed getting into contact with so many PhD researchers all over the globe as well. Uh, and I hope we can stay in contact once the MOOC has finished. I signed up for MOOC because, well, I love the thesis with her, but also because sometimes work commitments get in the way and I find myself trying to get on with my study alone. I have really been enjoying the course so far as it's very reassuring to understand that going through a lot of different emotions is completely normal. It takes a village to complete a PhD. I said jokingly that, thank God I live in a village, but I, I seriously mean it though. Um, the sense of community in this course has been humongous, and I think it's uh, very helpful to feel that you're not alone in the world. And also a big thank you to Inga. It's been wonderful, um, you and all the team, but particularly Inga, to turn you from some mystery person behind a blog into a real human being. Thank you so much for sharing all that. I feel really better prepared to what's um, going to be to happen to me in the next three years. So um, thanks a lot for that. Um, I'd like to say thanks to the Survive Your PhD team and, and Inga. Um, it's an enjoyable thing. I'm tired by the time I get home from work at about seven, but manage to sit there and, um, uh, and and go through the work and listen to it and try to do as much as I can each week. I really highly recommend everybody doing this course before you do PhD or while you do PhD or for supervisors as well. 